Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the frauditor known as J-Town Press as she was in the courthouse recording everywhere, obviously unlawfully, and then she got confronted and removed from the courthouse. This is how it should be done every single time. But before we get into that, make sure to go check out Nicole's brand new channel, Married Cheaters Exposed. On that channel, she trolls and exposes scumbags that cheat on their spouses. The link is in the description. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Hi there. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. A lot cooler now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, that Nicholas Tuba. Oh, wow. What's that? I like that. So you got the Medal of Honor, the Purple Heart. Wow. I love it. Is he is he from here? I believe so. Really? He got the, I'm assuming that's his Medal of Honor? Yes, I uh, Wow. I've never read it all the way through, but I believe so. Yeah, that's awesome. Flag. I can't quite see if that's a flag or what it is. Yeah, my car don't work. Get out to uh, to inspect, and you can see like all the old files and stuff. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, official official records. So you can't get back there to inspect the the public records. Oh, I don't know if I like that. No, just taking a few pictures. Thank you. Thanks. I find it absolutely hilarious when frauditors talk about significant exhibits or the architecture of the building because we know very well why your viewers are here. They're not here for a tour. They're not here to learn about the architecture. They're here for a confrontation. There is no other reason why anybody would watch your crappy videos than to see you arrested. When there's no confrontation, there's no views. Hey, hey, I'm just, just, just checking it out. <laughs> I just was reading your sign. You say you know where you're headed? I do. Yeah. Because you seem to be just walking around. Oh, well, I want to go everywhere, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, you know, if I was looking for a particular space, I'd be like, you know what I mean? But, right. yeah, but I'm just, just viewing everything, checking everything out. All right. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Wow, it's pretty, huh? Yeah. It's pretty. Do you do a public records request? You need a public records request? Yeah. So, can I do it verbally? Yeah, that wouldn't be here. Yeah, I want lots well, for this office. I just need to know how many cases you guys have and how many cases you guys played out. How many cases we have currently? Com right, compared to how many you played out for, like, say, the past 30 days. That's a good question. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Obviously, she has zero intention of doing anything with that information. 
The only reason why they file FOIA requests is to justify, to some extent, their purpose in the building. But we know better. We know very well that they have no purpose in there, and it's just for clicks and views. And even if she wanted to file a FOIA request, she's not allowed to record in the courthouse. It's probably still going to be a clerk of courts. Clerk of courts? Probably. Okay. Um, because the, the clerk... Keeps all that information? Record, ...record all of the cases that are opened by the state mm -hmm. and then how they close out all right so that probably would be where you would go okay and that, for, and that you'd have to talk to the downtown duval office mm -hmm. which is the elected official kofer mm -hmm. to see if the it guys can print out and you'll have to it's just like it a ballpark i'm not looking for like you know like a, a long printout it's just like a you know we've got 100 cases and we plead out you know 60 or you know whatever yeah and it all depends on if it's misdemeanor cases versus felony cases mm -hmm. and the type of them okay yeah fel well, i mean i know there's the two differences misdemeanor and felony so so you can kind of have to narrow down the, the yeah that's that's can, yeah that's no problem they can get you the numbers probably i think would be the yeah just a, just a ballpark yeah you know what i mean i don't need like you know we've got you know yeah, this many, this people, this many, you know, just a ballpark, you know. So, what was your name, sir? What's that? What was your name? I'm Attorney Dowd. Da Thank you so much. Uh, uh, edible. The parents? No oh, disposition room. Got a pretty, pretty princess. I love it. Oh, yeah, I am. I just want to be I don't know why she's doing that annoying clicking. The sound quality of the video is bad enough as it is. But, anyways, that's besides the point. The video is almost over because an officer is about to come and put an end to this nonsense because obviously in certain courthouses you are not allowed to record she knows that very well and that's why she wants to make this clickbait shitty video hey how you doing good you all right sergeant livingston you can't record inside the courthouse i'm sorry you're not allowed to record inside the courthouse uh, and who said that uh judge daniel actually I don't know if it's just me, but is this man's hands fidgeting? Is he playing with these pages just a little too much? Is he nervous about little old me? Or is it because he knows he's doing something wrong and he's about to violate my rights? So there's a request in here too if you choose to, that you want to do that? Well, I'm just in the public areas. That's right. a, that has to do right. with the courtroom. Yeah, this is the courthouse. Well, but he can't restrict what's yeah. in the courthouse. He did, so. Okay, so what if I don't stop recording? Well, you could be held in contempt. Okay, so you're going to arrest him basically. I'm just asking. Yes. Okay. I mean, and that's just because Judge Daniels. So if I don't leave right now and stop recording, then I'm going to be arrested. Well, we're just asking you to. And, if you, and if you choose to. If you tell me you're going to arrest me, then well, I'll look, be. Well, I don't need request. to look. There's, I don't. It's unconstitutional. Request for permission. So. You said so. you're J.P. Livingston. Yes, Sergeant okay. Livingston. Sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you know that he only has authority inside the uh, in the courtroom. He can't restrict it in the public hallways and public lobbies. So. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So if I don't stop recording, you're going to arrest me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now I'll leave under threat of arrest. All right. Okay. okay. You have everything? Yeah. All right. But if you'd like a copy answer? of this. Bennett. Okay. Thank you. If you'd like a copy of this. Like sure. Copy of yeah. And then back here on the record, the back end of it. So you have, you know, permission to record. Yeah, you know you swore an oath to the Constitution, right? Yes, ma'am. And, and the Sheriff's yes, Department works specifically for yes, the people, I'm right? Yeah. And you know this is unconstitutional. Ma'am. I'm, I'm just saying, like the, yeah, you know, so. it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's still unconstitutional, and the Sheriff's Department is supposed to work for the uh, for the people. You know that, right? right? You don't work for the state. You work for the people, and you honor, you swore an oath. So I'll pull your your oath of honor and your uh, oath of office and all that stuff. So yeah, this is not going to look good on your department. It happens. Yeah, I'm sure it has. It's actually happened before, huh? No, <laughs> you know it has. Multiple times, and there's been other incidents. Right. So. Have you ever been to the courthouse before? Oh, I go to all of the country in the courthouse. No, so. I mean, have you been to this one? This one, no. It's the first time in this uh. one. Yeah. But, uh, but funny enough, it's like, you know, I go into courthouses all over, the, even in this county, for example, right. I've been to a, another courthouse, and they don't have an issue with it, so. Okay, good. 
I mean, you're supposed to have transparency, and they're trying to restrict transparency, so that's kind of a shameful thing. Right. Well, in the courthouse here, it's mainly you have a I mean, lot you of have, you have stuff. Do you have something to hide? Oh, no, no, ma'am. So, I mean, what's the point of the... That's just something the judge says. I'm just... But you're supposed to enforce your, your oath to the Constitution, not to a judge. Right. Well, the judge signed orders for the courthouse. Yeah, but his orders yeah, don't mean anything. If they're unconstitutional, you're not supposed to... Uh, you're not supposed to enforce them, so... If you request the no, I don't need to. I don't need it. I don't ask. To him, I don't. I don't. I don't ask for permission for right. that, the exercise constitutional rights. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, yeah. you'll be seeing me. So there you have it. That was a beautiful walk of shame. This is how it should be done every single time. Obviously, I'm sure all the lens lickers will be jumping around saying, "File a lawsuit. File a civil rights lawsuit." But that's not going to happen. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I live here!